Should I pay off my mortgage early? I've been in the business of giving financial advice for over 20 years. And during my time in the business, there are two questions that are asked more than any other. Number one is, have I saved enough to retire comfortably? And a really close second is, should I pay off my home mortgage early? This is such an emotional question that it deserves its own episode. Stick around and I'll let you know when you should pay off your mortgage early. It's Colin Exelby here and I own the virtual financial advisory practice, Celestial Wealth Management. We provide financial planning advice for business owners and their families that make sense. Debt free. Doesn't that sound great? Not owing anything to anyone. No credit card debt. No car loan. No student loans. No mortgage. For a lot of people in America, this is living the American dream. But is living debt free smart? The answer to that question, as with many things in financial planning is, it depends. Every financial situation is different, but should you pay off your mortgage early? For the vast majority of Americans, buying a home and applying for a mortgage is commonplace. When you applied for or refinanced your mortgage, did you look at the amortization table? Most people don't. But if you did, you would see how much buying that home will cost you over time with all of the interest paid to the lender over that period. In fact, it may even frighten you when you see a number that large. It's true, interest paid on a mortgage over time makes the cost of owning the home much more expensive. But the rate of interest you're paying is probably some of the cheapest you will find anywhere in the world. You already know, mortgage rates are low. I mean, really low. But do you know 30-year mortgage debt is also some of the most efficient debt that you can get? What exactly is loan efficiency? Have you heard of that? Well, loan efficiency is determining how fast the lender requires you to pay back your debt. Here's a little trick. This is how you can check on the efficiency of your debt. Take the mortgage payment amount, the monthly payment, and divide it into the total balance of the mortgage to get your efficiency number. The higher the number, the more efficient the loan. Any number that's below 50 roughly is really inefficient debt. Typically it's credit card or like loan shark type debt and a number between 50 and 100, that's better. But any number over 100 is flat out outstanding. That means your debt amortization schedule is highly efficient. For example, say you have a $400,000 30-year mortgage and your rate is 3.5%. Your payment will be $1,796. Your efficiency number is 222. That loan is highly cash flow efficient, meaning you're paying back a small amount of that loan for the size of the loan. For comparison, credit card debt typically has an efficiency score of 30 to 40. It's highly inefficient debt that takes up a greater portion of your cash flow. Now I go over loan efficiency in great detail in my financial planning program that's called the Path Toward Prosperity. I'll provide a link to the program in the notes below if you want to check it out. So now that you know 30-year mortgage debt is highly efficient, what else should you know? Well, for most people, you're able to write off a portion, if not all, of your mortgage interest, which makes your borrowing rate even lower if you itemize deductions. But Colin, I hate making that mortgage payment every month. I don't like that I don't own the home outright, and my parents always taught me to live debt-free because you have less stress. Plus, as I get ready for retirement and don't have my income anymore, I don't want a mortgage payment. These are the primary reasons why someone would consider paying off a mortgage early, and they are all emotional, but they also make sense. 
And I can't argue with any of that reasoning. And if your mental well-being is tied to that reasoning, then I would agree that paying off your mortgage debt early is the right thing to do. The key decision to make is, what would you do with that money that you plan to use to pay off the mortgage early? This is what's called opportunity cost. If you would otherwise spend that money on something that doesn't bring financial value to you, or if you would leave the funds in checking or savings accounts that are paying you pennies in interest, then in my opinion, you will build wealth faster by allocating those funds to paying down the mortgage. However, if instead you plan to invest those funds into something that would most likely earn the same or more over the time span of the loan, then in my opinion, that's the way to go. There isn't any financial planning software that would instruct you to pay off 3.5% debt with tax benefits instead of investing it and earning 4% or 6% or 8% or even more. And that's what I mean by opportunity cost. Check this out. This data was put together by Visual Capitalist, and it shows the returns of the stock market over different intervals of time between 1872 and 2018. As you can see, over a one year period, the stock market is essentially a crapshoot. You don't have any clue whether it be positive or negative, up, down, up, down, up, over 146 years of data, the chance of seeing negative returns for any given year is about 31%. But the longer your investment can remain in the markets, the better the odds the investment will be positive. As we invest for longer periods of time, the frequency of losses rapidly decreases. By the time you get to the 20 year windows, there isn't a single instance in which the market had a negative return. And how long is a 30 year mortgage? 10 years longer. Of course, past performance obviously doesn't guarantee future results, but it can be instructive to help manage expectations. What about investments in real estate instead of paying off the mortgage early? With the tax benefits from depreciation, as well as the rental income, along with potential appreciation of the property, the odds are that your returns will be higher than current mortgage rates. Now, if current historically low mortgage rates increase, then this information is all subject to change. So we're just making this off of existing mortgage rates. Like what if mortgage rates were similar to those in the 70s or the 80s? when you had high single or even double digits. If that happens, we would re-examine this strategy, but at today's rates, it makes a lot of sense to maximize your mortgage. Look, there's a big difference between having the assets and investments to pay off a mortgage early and actually doing it. Knowing that you can sell an asset and write a check to the mortgage company is a really powerful feeling. And as long as you can mentally handle the mortgage payment, even when you don't have a paycheck during retirement, current interest rates generally dictate that financially speaking, leaving your money invested is the better move. You could even use profits, dividends, or rent when you have them to pay down the mortgage early. That way your money is working for you and paying down your property. Personally, I still wouldn't use the profits and the interest to pay it down. I would use the profit and income to buy more assets, but everyone is different. I hope this little primer on whether you should pay off your mortgage early helped you or at least created a couple questions within your mind about whether you should think deeper about paying it off early. If you enjoyed this video and it made sense to you, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you know someone who's paying down their mortgage early, please share this video with them. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave them below. And of course, smash that subscribe button so you're notified whenever I release a new financial planning video.